all of the teams beginning level. Another campaign of great drama about to unfold before us. I'm John Champion and here alongside me in the commentary box is Jim Beglin. Well, what a wonderful setting we've got for this game, John. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. Good form leads to plenty of confidence and hopefully a bright display on the pitch. Yes, and that's very apparent. Competition football is a different beast entirely and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. So let's get down to business. So Jim, any individual performances which are worthy of note? I think Theo Hernandez is one of the most exciting fullbacks in the game. Rarely have I seen a player display all the qualities needed in a complete fullback at such a, a tender age and at a time where the role of the fullback is even more crucial. He really is a diamond. Absolutely. Van Dijk, Zoboslai, switches play to the other side, and that's put a stop to it. Plays it back to the keeper. Van Dijk just did a brilliant job there, it was one of those all or nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. Losing his footing. He had a decision to make there and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. Any hesitation then would have either seen him get a card or his team concede a goal. I can only say well done son. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. It's a bold attempt in my opinion to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Hernandez. Tamori. Playing it through. Really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. Just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. Van Dijk. Gravenberg. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Has it back now. Alexander-Arnold. to throw <laughs> 
Za pošlaj. Carried away. Cleared away from immediate danger. Get in here. And that's going to go a long way. Up to nod it. Oh, so close. Robertson did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Zaboslai, Diaz. And the ball changes hands again. He's gone down, but the referee is far from convinced by that. Leal. Switches play to the other side. Rinders. A chance, and he'll shoot here. He created a great chance there, but no success. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after being put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. to exploit the space Alexis not much by way of goal mouth action as yet plays it to the touchline who can latch onto that Oh, good challenge, and he's got it back. Zaboslai. Milan giving it back. And the ball back to the goalkeeper. Rinders. He takes the opportunity to shoot. The whistle goes to signify half-time. The host forced to settle for a point in the end, which, when all things are considered, isn't perhaps the worst result in the world. The end to the first 45. Milan really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through obviously the chances will come provided they can keep producing good spells it's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives I feel so off we go then with the second half so no margin for error for either team away we go then Another ball up for the header. That won't worry the keeper. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Gravenberg. Zaboslai. Forward it goes. Knocks it through. 
and he's been fouled. No surprise, it's a yellow card. Too long and out of play. And a much needed intervention that was too. Salah. Right idea, wrong execution. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control, and the weight was perfect. Fofana. Plays it to his right. Grinders. And a shot here. Hits the ball. There it is. And that's the opener for this game. There's the benefit of pinpoint accuracy. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Well, the goal has come, but it's not exactly to script. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Forward it goes. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. Possibility for a shot. He couldn't quite beat it right. And that wasn't exactly a routine save. He still had an awful lot to do to keep that out. Superb. It's good stuff, John. I like what I'm seeing. Well, Jim, you can't do anything but plough forward at this stage, can you? No, there's no alternative. Liverpool deploying the high press here, trying to force the defence into making mistakes. Yeah, keep the ball hemmed in here while looking for anything they can pounce on, and that's what they want to do. It's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Loftus-Cheek. Jota wins it back. Loses out physically. Alexander-Arnold. Gravenberg. Alexander-Arnold. Looking to exploit the space. A brilliant tackle to deny him. And he finds a bit of space here. Lovely control. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Milan are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Diaz has got it. Going forward with purpose. That looked a foul, and the referee's given it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, is he?
He's gone for goal. And he gets it away. Salah. Booted away. Whistle goes. Referee just gives the throw. Alexander Arnold. Ticked off there. Neat ball through the middle. Liverpool are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Plays the ball out wide. Well, I suspect there'll have been a few nails chewed off during that attack. How they survived, I'm not quite so sure. But their lead is intact, and that's all that matters. An important interception. Things were starting to look dangerous. Tantalisingly close. They're just waiting for the whistle to come. Looking to exploit the space. The referee is adding on three additional minutes to be played. Fofana. Now a chance for Morata. There is the final whistle. Milan blown away any doubts surrounding how ready they really were coming into this game. Three points safely in the bag after day one. And this will surely set the tempo for the rest of their league season. Jim, what's really caught your eye in this game? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board. And it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good solid team display for me.